We get a lot of questions on if you can put an interior shutter in a home and what types of options you have. So let's go through some of those options today. The first thing to consider is what type of window you have. Does your window tilt in? Does your window have a crank? Does it swing out? Does it slide up? The second thing to consider is the size of your window, which will help you choose your louver or slat size. You have a two and a half, a three and a half, and a four and a half inch louver size option. The three and a half inch size louver is the industry standard. It is by far the most common size. Recently, more people have been using a four and a half inch louver, which will help increase your view and your light flow. And if you want more of a colonial style look, you can choose to use a smaller louver size in a two and a half inch. Choosing a frame is really important. Not only does it have an aesthetic appeal, which is important, but it has to function with the type of window that you have. You're gonna have an option of using a Z frame, an outside mount frame, or an inside mount frame. So the next option you have is selecting a color. I know it's hard to tell on video the different colors. That's why it's important that a design consultant come to your home. They'll hold up different pieces of frame in the different colors so that you can see what best fits your home. And you can also look on our website to see the different color options that you have. The next option you have is control. There are two ways that you can control a shutter, opening and closing the louvers. The first is with a traditional tilt rod. Most people, when you say an interior plantation shutter, they think of a shutter that looks like this with a traditional tilt rod. The other way that you can do it is without the tilt rod on the front, but it has a rear control mechanism on the back side of the shutter. The next option that you have is whether or not you want to have the ability to open the top louvers and keep the bottom louvers shut or vice versa. And there's a couple of different ways to do that. If you select a hidden tilt option, you have two options. You can use a divider rail or do what's called split tilt. This panel here has a divider rail in it. This divider rail is placed in the center or it really is customizable to you on where you put that and it's an immovable piece that sits in your window. Depending on your window height, you might need a divider rail for structural strength of the panel, but most of the times it is an option. What it allows you to do is, for example, open the top section of the louvers and keep the bottom ones shut or vice versa. If you choose to not use the divider rail and you wanna do what's called split tilt, you can see that this panel looks just like a normal panel, however, the rear tilt rod mechanism is cut in the back. If you choose to do a traditional tilt rod, it functions the same, I just want you to see the aesthetic difference. Your tilt rod on a split tilt will be cut wherever you choose for it to be cut, and that will give you the same functionality. And if you choose to use a divider rail, it will look like this with the divider rail placed typically in the center, but if you wanna move it up or down a little bit, that's always an option. Sometimes a divider rail as well is placed in the way of a crank or something that's immovable on the window or if you already have a natural mullion in your window to help cover that up. But it does give you the nice option to have more privacy and to have more light control in specific rooms in your home. As you can tell, there are many options in choosing Pollywood shutters and our design consultants will help you pick the best option for your home. We wanna make sure that you give your windows the treatment that they deserve.